the new podcast from uh, Colorado Europe and uh, Nuggets Europe. Today we have, uh, my name is uh, Mitchell Chuk. I will be your host today from Croatia. And today we have a special guest, the Nuggets, Nuggets legend from South Korea. Can you still tell us who you are and what is your job? Hello, hello everyone. My name is Jung-Yeop Lee. I'm currently working as a reporter at Lukido Basket the most prominent basketball magazine media company in South Korea. Nice to have you, nice to have you. So welcome, young Uh So let's start. Um, how did you start watching basketball? Uh, I started watching since the year 2000. I started watching basketball after being captivated by then LA Lakers star play, player Shaquille O'Neal. Mm -hmm. Shaquille O'Neal's overwhelming yet magnificent performance. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so who is your favorite basketball player? Uh, as I have mentioned above, Shaq, Shaq is Shaq led me to basketball. Okay. Uh, his dominating play style on the court and the activity as an entertainer have, have always intrigued me. Yeah. That's true. Shaq is funny and a legend. And uh, what? Uh, who is your favorite uh, NBA team? <laughs> Ironically, my favorite team is LA Lakers, oh. <laughs> the opponent of Denver Nuggets at conference oh. final. Oh my God, LA Lakers! I can't <laughs> believe it. You're not. You are Nuggets legend. But okay, you're, <laughs> I understand it's because of Shaq, right? Yeah. Okay, but uh, do you like the Denver Nuggets? Uh, I do actually. Denver Nuggets has its own charm that is different from others. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating to watch the team is constantly striving to grow as a whole. Player such as Nikola Kish and Jamal Murray are the, the ones. Mm, yeah, Nuggets are a great team. Homegrown team uh, drafting the players, not signing them in free agency. So that's why I'm happy to be the Nuggets fan to see that we built our own team. Okay, and uh, so uh, why you became a Nuggets legend is because uh, you're probably the only uh, NBA analyst in the world who said Nuggets yeah. will win in seven games against the Clippers. So you're the legend. <laughs> uh, how? Yes, thank you. It was it was trending on Twitter and on Reddit, uh, so it was uh, great. It's great to see you in person and uh, to talk to you. But tell me, uh, how did you? Uh, why did you think that Nuggets will beat the Clippers in seven games? I anticipated that Jokic's presence would prove to be a burden to the Clippers. You know, uh, also the performance shown by Murray during the first round wouldn't fall behind the that of Kawhi Leonard or Paul George. Good analysis, good analysis. Uh, so yeah, we already spoke about Nuggets, Reddit and Twitter. Uh, you said that. Uh, but did you get some praise from others for picking the Nuggets in a way like, hey, good job picking the Nuggets, like in Korea or somewhere? I did have confidence that the Nuggets could snatch a win. Oftentimes I heard that the Nuggets wouldn't be able to pull this out uh, as a usual after the loss of game one but every time i heard that i kept saying the series is quite lengthy so we should wait and see that's the spirit and i see that your instagram photo is uh, chris anderson <laughs> the Birdman in miami Heat, yeah. jersey uh yeah. is he your favorite is he one of your favorite players oh uh, no 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 my favorite oh. player is chuck chuck yeah okay but uh, Chris Anderson, the Birdman, was playing for the Denver Nuggets. Is that why you like yeah. him also, huh? Uh, I'm aware of this. I also know that Chris Anderson had played for Nuggets during 2008-2009 seasons against the Lakers at the conference finals. <laughs> yeah. uh, 11 years ago, that was a long time. Yeah. And also, so last night uh, we lost against the uh, LA Lakers uh, by Anthony Davis triple yeah. in the last second. So that was tough to watch. But anyways, if somebody can cheer us up, it's you because you also picked Nuggets in seven against the Lakers, right? 
Yeah. Why do you believe the Nuggets can re- uh, beat the Lakers? Uh, I am a Lakers fan, <laughs> but I also thought the momentum the Nuggets game could prove helpful against the Lakers. However, I am a bit worried if the Nuggets might not be able to pull this off, this off after loss of game two. Mm-hmm. But the next game we are playing uh, in home against the Lakers yeah. and we have this shirt, take that L on your way out. It's uh, for the Lakers to take that L. Anyway, so uh, did you watch the game one against the Lakers? What do you say about yeah. the referees? I thought the calls made by referees during game one were a bit more advantageous toward the Lakers. But then again, game two calls were softer and more advantageous toward the Nuggets, I think. It's fair, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how do you like Nikola Jokic as a player? Oh, he's a brand new type of player. People compare Jokic to Larry Bird or Magic Johnson, but honestly, I'm not so sure. I just think that he is a player with originality. Mm-hmm. And recently, European players such as Luka Doncic and Yanis Antetokounmpo are taking active part in NBA. I'm glad to see this globalization of the player pool. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, Jokic is uh, from Serbia. Uh, so are my colleagues from this podcast. So, do you know something about Serbia? Uh, I know Novak Djokovic, uh, who is currently number one tennis player in the world. And I also know that Serbia has a regretful result in the last basketball World Cup. World Cup. Mm. Uh, so, my colleagues are from Serbia. I'm from Croatia. Do you know something about Croatia? Uh, I believe soccer is immensely popular in Croatia. I know yeah. players such as Ivan Perisic, Luka Modric, oh. Ante Levic, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, and I also remember MMA fighter Michael Kroka. Oh, Mirko Kroka, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> good, good. And uh, Korean in Croatia has beautiful natural habitat and landscape with the lasting feel to the atmosphere. I would definitely like to visit sometime in the future. We will host you. Just let us know when you're coming. You can come to my friends in Serbia. You can come to me in Croatia. Sleep <laughs> for free. Don't worry. You are you are our friend. And uh, the last question is, uh, so I'm Manchester United fan also. So where is my, mm-hmm. where is my favorite football player, Park Ji Sung? <laughs> Uh, he usually does not show himself at the public space other than working as a commentator during World, World Cup seasons. Oh. Also, I believe, I know he recently uh, has set up his own YouTube channel. Oh, so Park ji has his own YouTube channel. Yeah. I hope he will watch our YouTube channel also. So, uh, we went through all of our questions. Uh, that's it. We wanted to know who you are and why did you pick the Nuggets and to finally see you, you know. You were trending on Twitter and Reddit and nobody could find you, but somehow we managed to find you. And I'm very thankful that you joined us on this podcast. And that's it uh, to everybody who is listening. Uh, thank you for watching us and listening. Um, put Hit the subscribe button on our uh, YouTube page, Colorado Europe. I like us on Facebook on Colorado Europe uh, and on Twitter also Colorado Europe or Nuggets Europe Serbia. Um, share this video if you like it. And that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. And go Nuggets. Oh, just do you think that, do you think that Nuggets will win in say Nuggets in seven against the Lakers? Lakers. <laughs>